Hey everyone, my name is Skylar Amen. I am an author and illustrator living in Portland, Oregon. I am also an affiliated artist with the Climate Science Alliance. I grew up on the Oregon coast, where marine science and conservation is the heartbeat of the community. The ocean is an important part of coastal communities everywhere, from scientific research to the fishing industry to recreation to everyday habits. I still remember the first time I saw the Pacific Ocean at five years old. I was awestruck, and that experience began my love affair with the sea, and especially the coastlines and rainforests of the Pacific Northwest. As a kid, I spent a lot of time wandering through dense coastal forests and along the edges of diverse tide pools. This gave me a strong sense of respect for the delicate balance of nature. With the incredible biodiversity of the Pacific Ocean and its coastline basically in my backyard, it was impossible for me not to be inspired by the sea and to develop a lifelong urge to protect it. It also gave me the perspective of watching the effects of climate change unfold on my beloved shoreline right before my eyes. From rising temperatures to ocean acidity to the sea star wasting disease and the current decrease in gray whale numbers, the effects of climate change are very real and are all around us. As an artist, my background is in drawing, printmaking, and bookbinding. For many years, I focused on making zines, which are small, self-published books filled with art or writing or both. I also made lots of watercolors and drawings inspired by science, the climate, and the ocean. These days, I make ocean and nature illustrations for kids and adults alike. A lot of my work can be categorized as sci art, which is short for science and art. This means art inspired or influenced by science in some way and used to communicate scientific ideas. This can mean encouraging a sense of wonder in a child through a richly illustrated nature illustration or a simple cartoony drawing of a shark with some quick facts that anyone can understand. A couple of years ago, I created this piece, which I call Mermaid in the Plastic Ocean, to raise awareness of the single-use plastic pollution problem that plagues our world's oceans. Now, mermaids are not real, but they inspire in us a sense of wonder, of magic and possibility, of idealism and romance and the power of the sea itself. Mermaids are imbued with centuries of history, mythology, and storytelling. With this illustration, I wanted to harness that power of the mermaid to show the devastation and risk to our seas. Juxtaposing a supernatural, fictitious creature like a mermaid against a backdrop of mundane, everyday, and very real discarded plastic garbage creates a sense of tension based not only on data around marine debris, but also on the emotion we feel for such a recognizable and empathetic character. I used the same balance of science and story for my debut picture book, which is called Lloyd Finds His Whale Song, and was recently published by Page Street Kids. This book is a story of a little humpback whale whose voice is too quiet to sing the whale song. He seems destined for silence until he finds a mysterious ukulele in the kelp forest and must use it and his newfound voice to help his family out of danger. The story incorporates real-world concerns about noise pollution and whale song, but at its heart it's the story of a little whale finding his voice. While it is a story about a main character finding his voice and his confidence and connecting with his family, the main conflict centers around the very real issue of noise pollution. In this case, it's a ship, which can directly interfere with whales' ability to communicate with one another. Finding the heart behind the data, creating an empathetic character to root for, these are just a couple of ways to connect people to the impact of climate change and human behaviors such as pollution, shipping, and so on. Here are a few other pieces I've created that are inspired by climate change, especially its effects on the ocean. This first piece shows a child hugging her stuffed animals, like polar bears, whales, and penguins, uh, many of which are directly affected by rising seas, increasing temperatures, and the like. This piece was made for the Kid Lit for Climate Initiative, created by Emma Reynolds, an illustrator through which children's illustrators created climate action posters for protests and demonstrations. The second image here 
shows a pair of hands reaching for a lone life raft to convey the desperation of climate change and its effects on the ocean. This piece was also made for a climate demonstration. This piece honors the southern resident killer whales who live in the Pacific Northwest. Um, they are directly affected by human decision making and climate change. This piece shows the interconnection between the orca, salmon, kelp, and humans. The plight of this pod is devastating and watching them starve and suffer as a result of climate change, dams, and politics is absolutely heartbreaking. I hope this image brings awareness, action, and emotion to the forefront of the issue and helps chip away at the barriers to their survival. I made these images for a story I'm working on about a young girl trying to survive in a world destroyed by rising oceans. I wanted to convey a sense of danger, beauty, and survival to hopefully connect the viewer through a sense of wonder, empathy, and a desire to learn more. These are from a series of shark info cards I designed that provide facts about each shark and are based on real creatures. But with my love of storytelling and humor, I had to embellish them a bit with googly eyes and sly grins to help convey a sense of character and connection for my viewers. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn a little bit more about my artwork and the influence of climate change and ocean conservation on me and my work. A special thank you to the Climate Science Alliance team for hosting me and for all your incredible work in climate education and science-based projects. If you want to learn more about me and my art, you can check out my website at skylaramon.com or you can visit me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you have a great day.